Have you ever wanted to use reference to nail the proportions in ZBrush Core Mini like you can do in ZBrush and Blender? This one's for you. All right, so the piece of software that we're gonna be using is called PureRef. Amazing software, I use it every day, but I drag and drop my reference into PureRef. I'm gonna zoom in on this thing and let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. There we go, something like that. So it's roughly positioned in the middle of my screen. What I'm gonna do is right click anywhere inside of PureRef. I'm gonna go to settings and then to colors right here. And I'm gonna turn this master opacity down. Ah, roughly halfway will work for this. And then you might think, oh yay, we're ready to rock. Well, I can't actually sculpt on this so it's not actually sculpting on what's beneath all it is is moving around this image inside of your ref so we're gonna fix that you're gonna right click and then go to mode and we're gonna pick transparent to mouse so it gives you this little warning and says hey in order to exit this you're gonna have to press command t or control t to get out of it and i'll show you how to do that but we're gonna press ok so now i can actually sculpt right on top of this this is going to be super helpful to nail some of those initial proportions especially if you're going for like a likeness or anything like this first of all i like to get myself a center line so i'm gonna find where that center is i don't want two lines drawing I'm on the slash brush. I am just gonna go up and down, draw a center line. And then I'm gonna hold Alt or Option on my keyboard to pan. And I'm not gonna move my reference, but I'm gonna position this roughly in the middle of those two eyes. That looks good. Next up, let's use a large brush size, very large, and the move brush. Let's go even larger. What I'm gonna do is squish this head in, and I'm just working on that basic head shape, the jaw up and in, you know, something like that. The only angle that I'm worried about is this front angle, because I mean, that's the only thing I have to work with right now. So that's roughly his head shape from the front. That looks good. And obviously I would have to do some shaping from the side to make it more head-like. That's not bad. Uh, next up, I'm going to use clay buildup. And let's go ahead and hold Alt or Option. I'm going to carve out these landmarks. Uh, so these are the orbital sockets. This is where the eye sits. And it's not perfect to the shot. You know, the camera angle is not perfect. So this is just uh, kind of roughly getting where things go. I'm going to draw in where those eyebrows are. I'm going to go ahead and put a nose. that just goes down to there. Carve in for that mouth. That's good. And next up, I am going to use a smaller brush size. Hey, I need an ear dragging left and right, right there and there, which means I need an ear roughly back here about that uh, length. So I'm just going to go up and down with clay buildup. You can do this however you can drop in ears. And from there, I could do some manipulating of that ear just to basically get that rough ear shape. Nothing too crazy. So that is like blocking in everything from this view that I need. And this isn't done. This is very, very rough. But I have the proportions, right? From his eyes to the top of his head should roughly be accurate. Same thing, the position of his ears, roughly, position of his mouth. It's really going to help you nail those shapes. What I'm going to do is now get out of this transparent mode. I am going to click Pure Ref. This would be down at the bottom if you're on PC. You click and then you can press Control T or Command T. And then it says transparent to mouse disabled, which allows me to actually move this. And what I'm gonna do next is go back to settings, color, increase that opacity all the way. And I'm gonna make this a lot smaller and then zoom out, you know, something like this. Throw it up here in this corner and it's just gonna sit there because the mode that I have now is always on top. So even if I click, it's gonna stay there. Things are good. now. My sculpt looks terrible, but everything is at least where it needs to be. And this is a, a really great springboard into actually sculpting a character like this.